2019 Volkswagen Tiggen review. Mature, classy looks, a high quality, roomy interior and efficient engine some of the key elements which make the second generation Volkswagen Tiggen SUV not merely one from the most popular cars inside VW lineup but also just about the most popular SUVs discounted full stop. New and used Volkswagen Tiggen SUVs available for purchase. There's an ever-expanding assortment of talent that Tiggen's against. Not only must it tackle mainstream rivals for example the Ford Cougar, Hyundai Tucson, Kia Sportage, Renault Kadja as well as the omnipresent Nissan Qashqai. Its near-premium positioning allows it to square approximately the BMW X1 and smaller Mercedes-Benz GLA. Tough-looking Volkswagen Tiggen SUV targets comfort. It's not surprising to learn that this Volkswagen Tiggen's underpinned by its parent company's modular architecture, a version which often is also hired by the similar Citadica and Skoda Kuruk, and also the larger Kodiak 7-seater. If you need a Tiggen with space for 7. There's the Tiggen All Space, that's almost a Kodiak, playing with a VW body, while it's not as spacious because check alternative. Consequently it feels sure-footed and agile, and not especially sporty, in many respects it feels reassuringly just like a Volkswagen Golf they are driving, albeit through an elevated driving position. The Tiggen's blessed that has a pleasingly rugged SUV appearance, with taut, perpendicular styling. It's peppered with subtle yet interesting details, for example the light catching indentations around the grille bars along with the pronounced chamfering down the body, which wraps around to assist frame the tail lights. Not only could be the cabin spacious with thanks to the Tiggins increased overall length and wheelbase compared to its predecessor, up 60mm and 77mm, respectively, there's an accompanying uplift in quality, too. Some on the plastics lower down the dashboard do not have the same soft touch nature of those around the upper plane, nevertheless it all feels well assembled plus the switch gear operates having a satisfyingly well damped action. Volkswagen Tiggen Engines, Number of Familiar Petrol and Diesel Motors There's a diverse selection of engines available within the Tiggen, most ones you'll discover in use in other Volkswagen Group products. On the petrol front, Engines range in dimensions from 1.4 to 2.0 liters in dimensions, offering between 125 and 180 horsepower. Front and four motion four wheel drive versions are offered on some engines, as may be the choice between manual and DSG automatic gearboxes. Those who prefer diesel power are served by 2.0 liter TDI units, ranging between 110 and 240 horsepower again with front and all-wheel drive on certain models and manual or DSG gearboxes. Not all engine and gearbox combinations are for sale in all trim levels, though. There's no official word yet, but we expected a Tiggen GTE plug-in hybrid, FEF, to participate the lineup during 2019. The latest Tiggen's noticeably more agile but doesn't feel sporty they are driving, comforts its primary goal particularly if fitted with adaptive suspension. Its steering errs towards lightness and also the relaxed nature in the DSG transmission suits the VW better, too. Off-road it's pleasingly capable, there's 200mm of ground clearance on 4 motion Tiggins minus 10mm greater than front wheel drive models, along with the short front and back overhangs let it deal with severe inclines effortlessly. Volkswagen Tiggen Insightful technology available. As you'd expect using a contemporary crossover, the modern Volkswagen Tiggen's bristling with standard and optional technology. There's a raft of electronic safety equipment including adaptive cruise control, emergency city braking and LED lights back and front. You may also upscale the normal S, say, say navigation, cylinder line trims equipment rosters which has a plethora of options including a panoramic glass roof an adaptive digital instrument display as well as a high-quality Dyn audio head unit. Volkswagen's also further honed its active control system permitting you to tailor your on-road driving for suppleness, comfort, or firmness, sport, determined by your personal tastes, along with snow and off-road modes when conditions are much harder. Wide choice of petrol and diesel engines to be had. Choice of manual and DSG gearboxes. 
front and four motion or wheel drive available. Those of your indecisive nature normally takes a while to pick out an engine because of their ticking, as there's this sort of wide choice offered. The petrol and diesel engines on offer are all easily obtainable in other VW models, so they are all turbocharged and proven in a lot of other body styles. 3 TSI Petrol Engines The petrol lineup kicks off having a 1.4 litre TSI producing 125 horsepower and 200 newton meters of torque. It's limited with front wheel drive and also a 6 speed manual, in support of comes in models lower down the product range, S. Say and say naf. VW claims it'll reach 62 miles per hour from your stance till in 10.5 seconds be going on to reach a 118 miles per hour top speed. It may be the cheapest way into a Tiggin, but there's lots of car to haul around that has a relatively bit of power and torque, in order that it could be worth looking further up the product range if you regularly carry passengers and luggage. Next up will be the 1.4 litre TSI with 150 horsepower and 250 newton meters of torque. In front wheel drive, manual form it'll move from 0 to 62 miles per hour in 9.2 seconds and on 125 miles per hour it's made available with 4 motion or wheel drive as well as a DSG gearbox, in every combination, by using identical 0 to 62 miles per hour times. This engine such as 125 horsepower version, features VW's active cylinder shutdown system that, because the name suggests, shuts off two cylinders if the engine isn't being worked not easy to boost efficiency. Available on higher spec versions with the Tiggin is really a 20 liter TSI petrol with 180 horsepower. Exclusively coming with 4 motion and also a DSG gearbox. It's efficient at completing the 0 to 62 miles per hour sprint in 7.7 .7 seconds and definitely will reach 129 miles per hour at the very top end. It packs a diesel like 320 newton meters of torque, rendering it great for overtaking maneuvers. 4 TDI diesel engines. You're fortunate if you will want diesel Tiggin, you can find 4 engines from which to choose. Kicking things off can be a 115 horsepower 2.0 litre TDI unit with front wheel drive and also a manual gearbox. It's only obtainable in entry level S modules, and provides up a wholesome 320 newton meters of torque. The 0 to 62 miles per hour time is 10.9 seconds, so that it is the most leisurely with the Tiggin range. Next up is really a 150 horsepower 2.0 TDI with 340 newton meters of torque, available having a choice of front or all wheel drive, manual and DSG gearboxes. All versions are efficient at completing the 0 to 62 miles per hour sprint in 9.3 seconds, while manual versions will top 127 miles per hour the DSG equipped models will reach 125 miles per hour, it's certainly punchy around the move that has a surge of torque enabling fuss free overtaking maneuvers about the motorway. Around town, the short first gear can catch you out of trouble, however it's a good fit within the Tiggin and changing gear isn't a chore while using slick 6 speed manual gearbox. The only complaint would be the amount of noise manufactured by the diesel unit, a typical issue with VW's diesel engines. Stepping things up a notch could be the 190 horsepower 2.0 TDI, coming exclusively with 4 motion along with a 7 speed DSG gearbox. There's a really healthy 400 newton meters of torque on tap, while 0 to 62 miles per hour is managed in a surprisingly rapid 7.9 seconds. It'll reach 131 miles per hour at top speed. Finally, at the top in the range, is twin turbo 2.0 TDI badged by TDI with 240 horsepower plus a whopping 500 newton meters of torque. Like the 190 horsepower diesel, this engine comes only with 4 motion and also a DSG gearbox, and blitzes the 0 to 62 miles per hour sprint in 6.5 seconds and should be on with a hot hatch rivaling 143 miles per hour top speed. Impressively agile but doesn't deliver a sporty drive. Adaptive suspension option maximizes comfort. Four motion models are usefully capable on rough terrain. 
People of usually do not buy SUVs like the Volkswagen Tiggen specifically for his or her handling characteristics, nonetheless it's reassuring that for individuals migrating at a more conventional hatchback that, higher driving position aside, it feels entirely normal. After all, this variety of more modestly sized SUVs often share their underpinnings making use of their hatchback cousins in lieu of all new, heavy duty off-roading platforms. So it is here, since the Tiguan is predicated upon similar modular architecture towards the Golf. As a consequence, the Tiguan's impressively agile both on-road and off it, answering steering inputs accurately and changing direction without fuss, but such as the majority of Golfs, the Tiguan doesn't feel remotely sporty. Its close cousin, the Cetatica, is set around satisfy keener drivers better. Instead, the watchword we have found comfort and it's a thread that's immediately apparent. Specify larger wheels within the standard suspension and you'll be aware of sharper ruts inside road, meaning it's better to stick to smaller rims or pick the excellent dynamic chassis control with adaptive suspension. In its standard setting the steering feels for the light side but this is made heavier over the driver a profile system. It doesn't result in the steering any more communicative, while it offers a decent amount of feedback as it's, it really varies the resistance experienced because you turn the wheel. All models have VW's XDS electronic differential lock, which directs more power towards the outside front wheel when cornering to reinforce traction. Tiggins furnished with 4 motion include 200mm of ground clearance, up in the front wheel drive models 190mm, and also by switching the active control dial to off-road mode it gets surprisingly skilled at dealing effectively with rougher terrain, the intelligent 4 wheel drive system metering the power for the wheels with probably the most traction. Die quality cabin ambience of VW trait. Switch gear and touch screen intuitive to utilize. Finding a great driving position proves easy. Over the last two decades, VW's honed its track record of producing high-quality cabins and also the one installed inside Volkswagen Tiguan's no exception. Not only what is the satisfying amount of squidginess in the upper dashboard plastics, but this Akash and the Tiguan's treated with the unique interior, as opposed to one shared using the Volkswagen Golf SV. It's a nice cabin by having an upmarket tactility and precise, well-damped actions for that switch gear, everything feeling that it's designed to stand quality of time. Infotainment touch screens are only in most new cars these days as well as the Tiggins the same, by having an 8-inch example sighted inside the angled central area on the dash. The graphics are classy, sharp and unambiguous along with the screen itself responds well towards the touch, few repeated prods are essential here. Our only niggle is it's a glass fronted unit that's susceptible to showing up grubby fingerprints quickly. Combine this with bright sunlight also it can be tough to see what's actually around the screen. Choose Ansel as well as the Tigan comes having a virtual instrument display, VW calls it active info display, and that is customizable permitting you to make the dials smaller along with the sat nav display together larger, among other combinations. It's slickly designed but debatable to whether it's worth paying limited for on models lower down the lineup. As to crossovers your sat high inside Tiggin, using a commanding view in the road ahead. Finding a comfortable driving positon's not an issue, especially using the Ergo Comfort seat on high-end models offering 14 planes of adjustment. Spacious passenger compartment front and back. Little exterior noise enters the cabin. Adaptive suspension option improves ride quality. Despite using a similar volume of road space as being a golf estate, the modern Volkswagen Tiggen feels being a much more commodious car, reinforcing its comfort bias. Four adults will easily get comfortable from the Tiggen with sufficient space from the back for just a six feet passenger to sit down behind a driver on the same stature rather than have their knees up against the back in the front seat. Fitting three kids about the back seat shouldn't prove difficult although isofix mounting points are simply just fitted for the outer two positions. Up front the seats are snug and supportive, particularly the Ergo Comfort driver's seat with additional planes of adjustment including a tilt function and electrically controlled lumbar support. Volkswagen's work challenging to make sure the Tiggins cabin remains quiet with little engine, road and wind noise permeating into your cabin. 
larger alloy wheels do add a level of sharpness to your otherwise fine ride quality but we'd recommend spending the other on dynamic chassis control having its excellent adaptive suspension damping. It's not the most cost effective option, but one worthy of ticking in case you want an impressively cosetting family car. Generous equipment levels across the product range. Say so grade seems to make one of the most sense. Our line provides a sportier look. The second generation Tiguan is easily obtainable in five familiar VW trim amounts of S, say, say navigation, SIL and our line. Standard Volkswagen Tiguan equipment. Whichever Tiguan you go searching for, in case you follow the trend of 75% of buyers and plump for the 4Motion equipped one, they come in active control, a dial for switching between on-road, off-road, off-road individual and snow modes. Entry point for that Tiguan Ranger's S specification. 17-inch Montana alloy wheels. Leather wrapped controls. Adjustable front center arm rest. For and aft sliding rear bench. 8.0 inch touch screen infotainment system with DAB radio and Bluetooth phone connectivity. Air conditioning. All round electric windows. Automatic lights and wipers. Autonomous emergency braking. Lane assist. Gently steers you back to the center of the lane when the car detects you wandering without indicating. Next up is say, which Volkswagen expects to get the best seller from the lineup. It adds. 18-inch Patagonia alloys. Chrome exterior detailing. Silver finished roof rails. Privacy glass. Multifunction tire. Additional compartments. Adaptive cruise control. Parking sensors. Three zone climate control. App Connect, Apple CarPlay, and Android Auto. High beam assist. As its name suggests, Say Navigation adds VW's Discover Sat Nav system to proceedings. Progress towards the even more luxurious Sul grade, and there's another ramp up of trinkets and technology. 19 inch Victoria alloys. Full LED headlights and rear lights. Ergo Comfort Driver's Seat with 14 planes of adjustment with heated front seats. Ambient lighting. Panoramic sunroof. Adaptive cruise control. 12.3 inch active info display, digital dials to switch traditional instrument binnacle. Topping the Tiggin range may be the aggressive looking R line. Deeper front bumper air intake. Increased body colored exterior moldings. 15mm lower sports suspension. 20 inch Suzuka alloy wheels. Sports seats, R line specific leader. Black roof lining. Volkswagen Tiggin optional extras. There's various potential options for the newest Tiggin, at night usual scope of alloy wheel upgrades and extra solid, metallic, pearlescent and premium signature paint finishes. An outdoor pack beefs within the Tiggin's appearance that has a unique front bumper to raise approach and departure angles to 24 degrees. Sports suspension may be specified but we'd become more inclined to pay extra on dynamic chassis control, DCC, featuring its adaptive suspension settings. Interior comfort might be increased that has a full leather option whilst the outer rear seats could also be heated at expense. There are a variety of infotainment upgrades but we particularly rate outstanding sound reproduction from the Dynaudio Excite system. Keyless entry along with an electric tailgate make life while using Tiggin much more convenient even though the automatic self-parking function is one in the easiest to use around the market. 5 star euro and cap crash test expected. Pop-up bonnet for pedestrian protection. Raft of more safety gear available. Safety is really a key consideration when selecting an SUV as being a family car along with the Volkswagen Tiggins packed using a wealth of standard features, together with several optional ones, to help keep the security of the company's occupants. 
It's to be under the auspices of Euro and Cap, but we expect it to obtain the full five-star score only when it's. All tickets contain seven airbags, including one with the driver's knee, together with a raft of electronic safety aids, for instance autonomous emergency braking, decreasing the likelihood of you requiring you to experience any of them being deployed. Pedestrians are given a further or higher level protection due to active bonnet mounts which lift one's body panel up and away in the engine within the event of a frontal collision. Depending for the specification chosen, additional safety kit will either be standard or optional at extra expense, including an incredibly effective adaptive cruise control system, a head-up display pod which can be a paragon of clarity, automatic main beam for the LED headlamps as well as other alerts for changing lanes without indicating or reversing out into oncoming traffic. Large and flexible load space trumps key rivals. Enormous selection of cubbies to cover valuables in. Will paler interior trim stand quality of time? A large part associated with the SUV's appeal is its practicality along with the second generation Volkswagen Tiguan's no exception in this regard. Depending within the specification you ultimately choose you'll find a mixture of storage pockets and cubbies from dash top lidded ones to drawers underneath the front seats. It's not simply where you can carry things, wait, how they're stowed. Many Tigans use a front passenger seat which folds completely to the side enable longer items to become swallowed without difficulty. It's quite a useful feature and complements the 40 hours 20 minutes 40 seconds split folding rear seat arrangement. That's not the spine seat's only trick, in the 60 hours 40 minutes split, the seat base slides forwards and back, helping the Tigans boot volume from 520 litres to 615 litres from the process. Those figures outrank the BMW X1, 505 litres, Kia Sportage, 503 litres, Nissan Qashqai, 430 litres, and Renault Kaja, 472 litres. Fold the seats over, developing a near-flat load area, as well as the VW still leads those key rivals, its 1,655 litre capacity trumps the X1, 1,550 litres, Sportage. 1,492 litres, Kashchi, 1,585 litres, and Kaja, 1,478 litres. In fact, there's precious little we are able to fault the Tigan on, practicality-wise, save for a way fresh sum in the lighter hued fabric interior trims might remain once they've spent three months running the gauntlet of family life.